Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another little episode for our master class in uh, blueprint. Today we're gonna take care of some simple constructors. So we made in here a bunch of blueprints for constructors. Uh, you only see the mark 3. Uh, I made some mark 5 after them. It's the same style these guys you know. But we're not using only that. So you'll find yourself in the world, especially at the beginning of the game, let's say until aluminum, maybe even after, when you're gonna need to have one, two, three constructors. And it's not exactly practical to use the other guys, the ones that we made. So we're gonna do the right thing. Uh, I'm using the Mark 1 blueprint designer just to be easy. So we're gonna do the right thing and make some basic, okay, super simple super simple uh, because they will save you the time that's it we're gonna use I'm gonna use only mark one belt because I'm starting a new playthrough uh, and I want to use these guys like from the early start as soon as I get my steel I want to use these guys so this is the most basic simple stuff that you can make okay uh, split half half you put whatever recipe you want in them and that's it call it call it good you know let's put the power i don't know let's put it in here just like that easy to connect them if you need more you can chain them you can split evenly we're gonna make one for those as well uh you can have a mark one belt in here or a mark two depending on what you want normally beginning of the game Mark 1 inputs is gonna be more than enough for whatever this guy's main process in here. Okay, no matter what you wanna do, Mark 1 should be enough. If not, is you just make it Mark 2. But since 90% of the time we use it Mark 1s, I'm gonna leave it a Mark 1. So we go in here, we see in here two constructors side by side. mark one because i want to specify what kind of mark there otherwise it is gonna get really messy here i'm gonna mess them up with that with that with that with whatever whatever okay no point in it constructor icon is this one i'm gonna choose my color because i'm a maniac and i'm gonna save my blueprint okay this is the blueprint for the constructors now Let's clear this designer. Okay. Your materials are in this box in here, which at this point I don't know why it's not visible, but anywho. We have a blueprint for the two constructors right in here. You can put it whatever you want. Okay. That white arrow is the input. And if I put this one in here and I snap another one in here, come on. Guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna make my life for that easier, wouldn't you? Are they aligned? They're not aligned. VAG, what have you done here? Let's dismantle that blueprint, copy that blueprint, put it in here. It's aligned. Okay, now I want to make the same stuff, but this time I want four of them. Okay, always mark once because why not? Uh, this one in here, you could make it like that. You know but we're gonna beautify it a little more no point in using those that many mergers we're gonna make it different okay so we're gonna send all the products I don't know ahead always ahead we're gonna choose one of them let's say this guy here uh, maybe use margins BIG by the way if you may place them you see I want the margin instead of this one keep pressing control is gonna get inside of it and change it. Okay, easy to change them without taking out the other ones. Now this one is gonna have the green arrows towards me, so it will merge with this. And this will be my exit here. We just made a balanced, which is very, very important mention balanced for constructors 
exiting forward always side by side so let's save this magic in here uh we're gonna say like this for constructors balanced just like that you know side by side mark one uh mark one doesn't go in because that's all the time so we're gonna make it like this Set by set, I could write it differently, but uh, let's leave it like that, okay? Set directory. I want them in the same directory with the constructors when I'm gonna start a new playthrough. This directory will not exist, but, but the blueprints will be there. So all I have to do is um, create, let's say, my categories and subcategories in Majigis and then drag drop you see this one it's in undefined okay let's save it in there it says that it's already in use and uh, after that you can drag and drop your blueprints in there okay I just took my material so the blueprints in here in undefined I have this guy when are you gonna have your blueprints invented in the game you will not have this category in here you press edit they need to be in there so add category it's in there okay you click on this one you see in here in the category whatever you want to call it you can put an icon on it whatever you want okay apply and then in order to art add the blueprint in that category you're gonna need the subcategory you can make a mark one mark three mark five mark eight mark oh however you want to do them okay i don't know i just leave them in there now in order to grab that one and put it in here press it click on it hover above that directory drop it in here uh no wrong you gotta if there is no blueprint inside you gotta hover over the socket is gonna put it in there well we found out something new today we need it in here so that one i'll press on that remove i cannot remove it because that one is in there so remove that and now i gotta press apply and then edit again remove i cannot remove it uh apply changes okay how do i remove it i did remove category just like that perfect it's not exactly clear how that one works so i still have problems with it as you saw it okay we made two constructors side by side four constructors balanced so there's the last one that we did looking amazing i know you will use it there are times when you use it the next thing that I'm using a bunch of so it's three of them side by side or four of them let's make one for three of them I want them split even so I'm gonna put one in the middle one on the right one on the left grab my splitter watch the red arrow because that's your entrance this is my entrance I'm gonna put it here a merger going forward of course put some power poles in here that boy has four connections so you can connect it to the other one but if you want to add something more you will not be able to connect to this pole because only four connections so I'll drag another power pole here and call it good now I can connect to that one one connection and to this one two connections so this is the blueprint for three of them balanced side by side okay so three constructors uh side by side balanced mk1 perfect same directory in here here Yes, close that, 
it kept in here the directory always constructor always my color save that's it we got it what do you think about it uh, clear now when you are out in the wall it will be easy to plan this voice for example to construct side by side you see boom they're in there if you need three of them for some reason i don't know that depends on the recipe whatever you need you can put the three if you need something else you can put four either way you want it like that like that like that is balanced the only thing that we're missing is the guys that are not balanced there will be times when you will prefer to have a manifold system so we're gonna take care of those right now um we're gonna start with two let's start from here oh uh, it doesn't really matter bg you can put it however you want okay good stuff so we'll put four okay because you don't want them all the time balanced there are times when you don't need them balanced they will fill up it's gonna work just fine don't worry about it now normally when you're using four this building here should be marked two i mean i don't know think about concrete okay it's gonna be 90 and then 90 180 that ain't gonna be a, enough mark too it's gonna be have to be mark free but i'm leaving it like that because i don't know maybe i'm gonna make screws out of iron rods okay so if i put that one it's gonna be 15 so that's what 60 that mark one is gonna be enough i shouldn't have put the recipe can i delete the recipe no okay good stuff gotta delete that one otherwise guess what it's gonna keep the recipe inside so i'm gonna leave it always mark two and now for the mergers i want the products to go in the direction where the products are flowing so forward that way it will not exit right it will not exit left always i'm building from the back in the front Let's take care of that power. Uh, let's put it inside in here. That's about it. So, for constructors in line, uh, mark one. That's enough for a description in there. Don't need any more than that. In here, the blueprint. Same icon. I wish I could have defined that one as uh, default. I think you can do that, but I have no idea how. So here we are. We did it like that. Is it safe? Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, now, same stuff, but three of them. Okay. You're gonna have to modify the power a little, but it ain't that that bit, you know. So we're gonna come here. There's gonna be free constructors. Apparently, the directory is changed, uh, and I have one in there. Amazing. So constructors, I want it in here. Uh, it is my color. Safe. And. Of course, two. For two of them, one power pole is more than enough. And for one, I will not make. That's it. One, it's really easy to, to put one in there, you know? So, add blueprint here. The rest, let's see, is good. Save it. Clear. Uh, give me back my materials, please. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. 
let's take care of that one that I saved it wrong here. So edit, grab it, drop it in the constructors. It's four, so it should be after this one. I'll leave it here and it will push the others on that side. Okay. Now, when you're building your factory, it's going to be pretty easy because let's say you need five constructors in line like that. Blueprints, constructors, uh, you take four out of here and you put the other one that you need five. Okay. Or if you're lazy, like I am, you make three. This is balanced. We need that one that it's in line. So three constructors in line. Uh, watch the arrow. Okay, so this is the exit. I want my input in here. You see the white arrow in here. And then I add another two. So two constructors in line. Mark one. Press control. It will snap. Bring it in there. If it's on a foundation, it will be even easier. Body rained right now because we're building on the grass like peasants. It is what it is. Connect power. Connect that. Connect that. That's it. Your exit, it's in there. Your input in there. Put your recipes. That's it. Most likely for five of them, you're gonna need that one to be a mark two or even a mark three. I'm tempted to say a mark three. The little blueprints, the stuff you added afterwards gotta be deleted individually because they were not part of the blueprint. And I think that kind of concludes all that we need for our constructors. I think we kind of finished with that one. Ended up with a bunch of hair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 15, 16. Uh, 6 hours, whatever you say. Yeah, it's fine. So, this is the Mark 1. Uh, the biggest that you see here, we made them in Mark 2. Guess what? I already have access to Mark 3 Blueprint Design. Am I gonna go in there and put the blueprints for 28? I don't know, maybe 14 will go in there. No, this is more than enough to cover all my needs, no matter what I'm doing here, okay? No matter what I'm gonna build in this game with the constructors, this is gonna be enough. So we're gonna leave this one in here. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have any uh, similar. And uh, if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourself an amazing membership. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.